a man who had a dog and a cat often had an unfamiliar cat come to his house. Despite his pets, the cat would come as if to his own home, ask for food, then thank him, purr loudly, and disappear in an unknown direction. The third day of July was no exception. As usual, the cat came into the room meowing loudly and approached the man. But when he turned to face the cat, he was stunned. What he saw shocked him. There was an arrow sticking out of the cat's head. The man was stunned. It was a crossbow arrow. But nothing had changed in the cat's behavior. He was as calm as ever. With an unperturbed look, he began to eat. The owner was not confused and called 911 because the situation was truly extraordinary. The police arrived on the scene. To say they were shocked is an understatement. So they immediately called animal control. Officer Matt Cordell arrived and was very surprised because in his 18 years on the job, this was the first time an animal had survived such a severe injury. But what surprised the men most was the cat's behavior. He was as gentle and affectionate as ever, purring loudly and acting as if nothing was sticking out of his head and he wasn't in any pain. Matt Cordell picked up the cat and immediately contacted the shelter. The shelter director couldn't hide her surprise at the cat's resilience and will to live. She jokingly suggested that the cat had probably used eight of its nine lives. After examining the cat, she referred him to the animal hospital. The director of the clinic, Martin Rasavi, immediately sent the cat for an x-ray and told her that he had only seen similar cases on Discoveroo. The x-rays showed that the arrow had pierced the skull and to his great joy, had not hit the cat's brain. Considering that the arrow had not hit any vital organs, the cat had every chance of not only surviving, but also living a long life. The vet carefully removed the arrow and applied a sterile bandage to the wound. Anything could happen next, so the doctor did everything very carefully. The police also had important work to do. They had to find out who had so cruelly decided to massacre the cat. The probability of finding the culprit is very low, but there is still a chance and a probability. The case has been handed over to the detective for further investigation, and there is hope that he will find the culprits. Many people have already expressed a desire to take the cat into their homes when its health is no longer in danger.